China is for China. China is not for Africa. Yo, 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 man, yo. Uh, welcome to FKU Africa Podcast. This is your host, Manesa F8, as usual, coming to you. I'm still in the depths, uh, in Devon, still keeping it real, keep, keeping it cool, yeah. Uh, man, uh, this has been also a crazy week, which um, uh, I just want to share some few things that have been happening. Uh, of course, we. Uh, we saw, uh, I saw something that really uh, depressing when I saw it. Um, man, the legend, um, the icon is done uh, uncountable things for us as black people. For us coming from the locations, man, coming from the wood. Um, when I'm talking about this gentleman, um, I'm not just uh, talking for the sake of talking. I, I don't really do um, gossips and uh, current affairs. This is not a podcast for that. Uh, this is this this podcast podcast is for uh, for for thinking. It's for just to to make you aware of what is going around. It's for you as an African to, uh, to understand that how well, how is the world being run, how, what some other things that are just flowing over your head without even noticing, just to wake you up on some kind of, uh, of things that maybe you are not aware of, uh, or just expand on things that you thought you knew that maybe you didn't know exactly as they are. So this is what this podcast is all about. This is not for, uh, current affairs or gossip or news, nah, man. But that this one just hit me hard, man. Uh, uh seeing uh, Uzola, uh, Bongo Sidlamin, Uzola 7. This is what I'm talking about. Uh, the dude has been an icon, has been a legend, has done things, uh, for people here in South Africa, uh, who who revolutionized how. Uh, the South African youth should think who was pushing schools, who built it libraries, who built it for housing for people in Zola, uh, who, pro who provided a lot of bursaries to, to the youngsters who went to school. He did a number of things, my man. He did a, a lot and a lot of things for, for people here, here in South Africa, man. So there's this video of him that... Uh, uh, that was floating around the social networks um, from yesterday, I think. I'm recording this on Thursday, uh, the 10th of March, 2022. So, so this video was floating around on the 9th yesterday. Uh, and I saw it. I couldn't even finish it, man. Just saw him just uh, the way that he looked, how, how, how tiny he was. I was like, damn, man. What is happening? What have happened to this dude, man? I was, I was speechless. I was heartbroken, really, really. If I was a trier, I would have tried, man. Um, I'm, I'm telling you the truth, man. I would have tried. Um, it, it's just that I'm not a trier. I'm not a person that uh, usually tries for anything. I can't recall when last did I try. Perhaps, perhaps the last time I tried, it would be... Uh, maybe when I was still in school, perhaps. Uh, I don't. I don't normally just try, man. Uh, I I don't know when when last did did I see. Uh, myself trying. I don't know, man. It's been it's been a long time. So if I was a person that would just try, I would have tried yesterday because I was feeling some kind of way seeing that gentleman like that. It was. Just threw me off, man. It just spoiled my day. I just, just like, what, what have happened? Because the last time I, uh, he was on Mark G on 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 podcast and she, uh, I, I saw him and then he was uh, like talking about, um, 
he was talking about him being uh, sick uh, with uh, uh, epilepsy, which is, is for so close to uh, So Umjita, uh, he heard that and he was going under through, he was undergoing processes of being, uh, getting help and also uh, eating some herbs from Dr. Sebi, complimenting him of uh, getting him the, the, the right herbs and saying that he's getting healed and all that. But now seeing uh, him like that, it was like uh, the the whole treatment was not working. And, man, it's just crazy, man. It's just crazy seeing him like that, man. Uh, so I'm not even going to play the video. I don't even have it. I didn't even want it. I just saw it there, and I, I just don't want to see him like that. I just, just don't want to portray him like that. It's just how I felt, and I'm just expressing how I felt, how my day it was uh, after seeing that, man. It was horrible seeing him like that. It was crazy. Uh, if you want to see the video, you can go online and just uh, look at him and just, and just uh, see what you want to see. Uh, so the other thing is there was this lady uh, on, the, on the internet who was uh, actually, he made, she, she actually made a video about uh, uh, the side effects of vaccine, of the vex. So she claims that is from Pfizer. So I don't know. I didn't see, uh, I requested a lot to the people that I know, I requested to see the papers, the actual document, and verify it, I couldn't. So I won't really play that video as well. It's something that you need to look at, though, uh, the kinds of uh, side effects that uh, would appear uh, in, in due course uh, caused by uh, the, uh, the VEX. So uh, it's something that you need to look at when you get time because it's really going to affect you and it's going to show up without even you knowing there's a lot and a lot 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 of side effects she kind of mentioned um epilepsy diarrheas um cancers uh a lot man a lot a lot and a lot so something that you need to look at when you have time uh it's it, it was it's still trending even now on, on twitter um vaccine side effects um so you need to just Go into your own research. I'm not saying that the uh, the lady's video was it's it, it's something that is tangible and viable, but uh, it's something to look at for yourself. Just do your own research and just find out if you can uh, get those uh, uh documents from Pfizer that shows and speak on on the vaccine, so that you can be informed. We all need to be informed with these things, man, because they are affecting us. So. We need to be informed. So inform yourself, get to those, and just uh, learn as much as you can about the side effects and just start to see if uh, perhaps you are experiencing any of those so that you can get help as soon as you can. With, because you can start uh, experiencing things that you, were, you, you, you didn't know or things that are new and without you knowing what is happening, all along, it was the side effects of the VEG. So uh, get to know that and get to, uh, to, 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 to the digging. Let's get to the digging, man. Let's get to the digging. Um, so, man, the real uh, topic of today that I want to talk about, it's, um, it's, it's the income tax. The income tax has gone crazy. The income tax in South Africa, I think when I'm saying in South Africa, I'm not only speaking for South Africa, I'm speaking for a lot of countries in the world that the income tax has gone crazy. Crazy, crazy. The income tax is mad. The income tax is crazy. It's very high. With with me just showing you how much are people being taxed. You see, this is the tax calculator. So if you are earning, let's say, 10000 per month, how much is your income tax? It's 
N30, N38, which is uh, okay, but um, that that's um, it's quite a lot, but it's not that that much. So let's go up now and see if you are earning twenty thousand. How much is your? Yeah, now we start talking two point three, earning twenty k. This two point three that is coming out of your salary going to tax. Now let's go to thirty. Let's go to thirty. Four point eight, well, four point nine. Let's close to five thousand. The previous one was two point. Uh, I think two point three, right? So this one is going to five thousand now. For thirty k, you're earning twenty five k. That's coming to you. And let's go up a bit. Let's go to fifty now. Let's go to fifty and see what does fifty say. 11k it's going out of your pocket to the government 11k if you're earning 50,000 it's going out of your pocket man you are only left with 38k so if someone says to you they are earning a 50k the question you should ask is that before tax or after tax but well, that's very much important important it's eleven thousand six hundred and seventeen and oh eight important because you might think that people are earning a lot, but the government is earning more from from the people you see so let's go to let's say let's go to eighty and see what does eighty say what does eighty say twenty three k goes out of your pocket. And you're only left with 56k while you're earning 80k. Going to 100k. 100k. It's 31k. 31,000. Out of your pocket to the government. Isn't that crazy? 31k gone to the government. Uh, let's see what is what are the uh, highest countries when it comes to income tax. Countries with the highest. Tax rates. Income tax. Let's 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 say income income tax in Africa. Oops, Namibia. Hi. Wow. I thought it was going to be South Africa. Uh, okay, let's go to latest. Wow. Here we go. 60% Ivory Coast. Wow, this is crazy. This is crazy. Um, of, of, of course, South Africa was going to be there. I was going to be shocked if it was not in the top five at least. 45%. Going up to, let's say, the lowest in Africa. This is maybe where I want to stay. I do not want to stay in Libya. Libya is the, is the lowest. I would stay in Sierra Leone, Seychelles, and Mauritius. Those are the countries that I can stay in. Uh, Botswana as well. With 15. So why is so much difference between, uh, uh, let's say, Sudan, Sierra Leone, and ever the coast in South Africa, why there's so much, why there's so much taxations in here? It's so crazy. Let's see in the world and see if 
South Africa is in the top 10 even there. We might be. We might be. Ooh, top 10 countries with a high personal income t tax rate. Every coast is there. So South Africa is not in the top 10. Top 10 is 50% or 45%. So uh, top 10, it's uh, Ivory Coast, uh, Finland, Japan, Denmark, Austria, Sweden, Aruba, Belgium, Israel, Slovakia. Uh, so top 11 countries with the high corporate tax, uh, the businesses now. If you have a business, your business is, is, is taxed in, the, in Paru, what is um, Puerto Rico, Surinma, Chad, Equatorial Guinea, Guinea, Iraq, Malta, Sahara, Zambia, Brazil, Venezuela, South Africa is not there. Top 11 countries with the highest sales rate economics where they're talking about buying and selling. Uh, Bhutan, those countries. Yeah, you see now we're going to the countries now with the in, this is the income tax rate. Ivory Coast, South Africa should be there. It is there in the top twenty. It's insane. It's insane, man. It's insane how much uh, people are paying for tax. And these things are alarming to me because. Uh, are alarming because nothing is being done. That's where the problem is. Nothing is being done. Because if the purpose of the tax is to service is to service the people and provide for the people, but those services are not being rendered. That's where the problem is. If you're gonna tax me, I must not drive in potholes. If you're gonna tax me, I must not be uh, getting the load shedding. If you're going to tax me, my grandmother must get better. Uh, uh, what is this? The trance. If you're going to tax me, I must not suffer like this when the, 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 the oil price is going so high and high and high and high. What is What, what am I being taxed for then? What am I being taxed for if these things are not being are not going to be taken care of for me? Why should I have to suffer again? Why should I buy solars? Why should I now have to sell my car and drive and drive with Uber because the, the, the oil prices are too are too much? The petrol, the diesels are too much to to afford getting to work every day because you're spending more money than you have with Uber. Why am I going to suffer paying the government so much money? And while I'm paying that much money, I hear that a lot of money is being dis it is just disappearing. It's just disappearing. Talking billions and billions are just going with the thin air. No one knows PPEs, Gandla, this and that, arm deals, this and that. The money is just disappearing. This is my money we're talking about. The money that I'm Paying with the income tax and the VAT as well. On top of that, the VAT is also as high. What is this? What is happening? What is happening? What is this? What is this tax for? So the next time you choose a government, you must choose the government that is going to tell you that we are raising down the tax bracket, the tax in uh, the income tax must go down, corporate tax must go down, sales tax must go down so that we can trade better in South Africa. If I'm paying this much tax, I'm expecting good services. I'm not expecting to drive in potholes. I'm not expecting uh, uh, to have load shedding. I'm expecting things to run smooth because this is too much money that is being taxed from the people. So yeah, man, um, Please check out the, the podcast on Spotify, iTunes, Google Podcasts, and also on YouTube. Uh, the podcast is on uh, FKU Africa Podcast uh, for sure. So if you want to support the podcast, obviously you go to uh, maneza.co.za stroke podcast. Get into the podcast, man. 
uh, listen to uh, the board, the best podcast you want to listen to. Uh, uh, this uh, these are the the list of podcasts. Uh, the latest is this uh, episode seventy eight uh, today. So you can support this by buying the music for sure. There's music on sale. The album and the singles are here. Uh, you can also join the tribe. 30, 30 rand a month just for support so that you can uh, get these new mics and headphones and, and, and new cameras and look nice and bring you the good the good content, having someone else to come in and and so we can hire people as well. So please support. Uh, also, donate. And I'm, I'm, it's only 30 rand. You just go in here. It's already been set for you. Just donate your 30 rand, boom, they are here. But if you don't have those, it's still okay. It's still okay if you don't have uh, the 30 rand, you don't, you don't want to buy the music, you don't like my music, it's okay. What you can do is to share. Click this share button. Click this share button for, for, for WhatsApp and share at least to four people. That's big enough for me. That's, don't just share the link for them. Just say, hey, friend, I have, I've listened to this podcast and please support it for these reasons. This is how you share the content that you appreciate. If you just share a link, people, they don't just open the links. People need to know what is the links for. need to motivate it. Fikiri ya kwa